Good morning for our morning devotion for Thursday, December 3rd. We'll follow your order for morning morning meditation from our Christian worship supplement and also a reading from Isaiah 64. We'll focus on Isaiah 64 and hear a psalm today, um, Psalm, psalm 40. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait in expectation. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Let me live that I may praise you. And may your laws sustain me. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God, Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is a man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord, my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. In sacrifice and offering you have not delighted, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Behold, I have come in the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. The reading we'll focus on today from Isaiah chapter 64. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains might quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, and that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome things we did not look for, you came down, the mountains quaked at your presence. From of old no one has heard or perceived by the ear, no eye, no eye has seen a God besides you who acts for those who wait for him. You meet him who joyfully works righteousness, those who remember you in your ways. Behold, you were angry, and we sinned. In our sins we have been a long time, and shall we be saved? We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a polluted garment. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind take us away. There is no one who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to take hold of you. For you have hidden your face from us, and have made us melt in the hand of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Be not so terribly angry, O Lord, and remember not our iniquity forever. Behold, please look, we are all your people. Your holy cities have become a wilderness, Zion has become a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation. Our holy and beautiful house where our fathers praised you has been burned by fire, and all our pleasant places have become ruins. Will you restrain yourself at these things, O Lord? Will you keep silent and afflict us so terribly? The word of our Lord. Isaiah 64, portions of that, perhaps very familiar with us. Other portions, not so much. Interesting how it ends. Will you keep silent and afflict us so terribly? Right, A people who's who's crying out, because they saw the desolation, the destruction of Jerusalem, its temple. And where are you, Lord? Where are you to help? Where are you to save us, Lord? Yet beautiful truths laid out before that. Um, a, a God who they, they say, we will wait for you, right? They're, they're waiting for the Lord. They're waiting for the Lord to deliver them. Um, and in the meantime, as they wait, they recognize, even in our, our righteous acts, it's as, as filthy garments, polluted garments, as in, as like filthy rags. And you think of that same thing in an Advent season. We wait for the coming of our Lord, as we said in our responses with the morning meditation. 
Um, we wait for the coming of the Lord, and at times it seems as if the Lord is simply silent. He doesn't say an answer, deliver and help. The hurt, the suffering, the hardship remains. Where are you, Lord, in all of this? But the truth reigns out all the more. O oh Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. It's in the hands of the Almighty um, where, where we are. Uh, he, he continues to, to hold us in those hands. And if it's just the hands of the Almighty, the Father, that'd be one thing. But it's the hands of the, the Almighty Father who, who sent his Son to, to become polluted for us, to take on the sin for us and believe, be polluted for us with our sins, um, that, that his, his righteousness, his holiness could be granted to us. And, and, and the Holy Spirit's there at work as well to continue to, to keep us amidst the, the hurts and the troubles and, and the, the, the terribleness of this life at times, to keep us as God's own, um, that, that we are in his hands. We, re, we remain the clay, right? We remain the clay. Um, he remains the, the potter. And he continues to shape and fashion and shift and make us um, the beautiful ones that we are. Right? The beautiful ones that we are. The, the holy ones that he's declared us to be um, through Jesus Christ. Um, the, the patient ones that he has made us who wait. Who wait for his return with, with joyful and eager expectation and see the things of this life, the joys of this life, the hardships of this life, Continue to be our, 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 our potter fashioning and forming us as his dear children um, to, to be him to, to others, um, that, that they too see the, the comfort we have as we wait. As we wait with joy in our hearts, um, that we are safely in his hands, uh, both now and for all eternity. And God's continued blessings to you as you recognize these words from Isaiah 64 of a God who, who does things beyond us, who, do, who does things we would never look for. We would never look for him to do this or that. He does even more, far more than we would ever look for. Um, who's completed for us our salvation and promises to return um, to take us to be with him. Amen. Continue with Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus sanctify us and keep us from all evil. May Christ drive all hurtful things far from us and purify both our souls and bodies. May Christ bind us to himself by the bond of love, and may his peace abound in our hearts. Amen. Blessings on your day.